Welcome back to another edition of IT Soft Insider View. I'm joined, of course, again by Stuart Griffiths. Hi, Rory. Um, so last week we talked about uh, technology and AP um, and AI and things like that. Now we're going to be talking about um, the future of technology and AP um, and, and why that matters. So initially, automation, right? I'm going to be talking about automation, of course. Um, but uh, what's your opinion on it? Is it is it something that's here to stay? You know, is it just a fad? What's that? I think for me, automation it is here to stay. Yep. There's no, there's no getting away from it. I think for me, um, automation is around improving your process. Right. So first of all, if you want to improve a process, is to be clear on what your process is. Yeah. What are you trying to achieve by automating something? Are you automating for the sake of automating? No, clearly not. But it is about having that clear goal. Yeah. What what is it you want to automate? Why do you want to automate it? And how will it improve your business or your process? Right. Um, and and as you said, improving your process. I guess that's the thing you have to understand about automation is that you can't just plug in uh, an automated system and, and just let it go. You've got to have a robust process in yeah. place. Yeah. I think for me, I think robust process you hit the nail on the head automation doesn't fix broken processes no so if you need if your process is is broken yeah or there is a there is a there is a an element to it that you're not quite sure you you understand and you think putting automation is going to fix it it won't automation is really around increasing the efficiency of all already robust process right so for us, for, for people, you know, the thing about automation, you need, to be, you need to be clear as to what it is you're trying to achieve. Does your process work? And how, how would automate, automation uh, improve that process? Yeah. Um, so you said automation is here to stay, um, yet there's still a sort of a lack of understanding of the benefits. And, but what else do you think is, is sort of blocking AP automation in some organisations? I think, like you just said, the lack of understanding, you know, what is automation going to deliver to your business? And I think in some ways, AP managers need to understand what auto automation will bring and then you need to be able to sell it to your business. Yeah. I think, um, you know, lack of understanding is around, you know, what, what are the, why are people scared of automation? Mm -hmm. you know? Is it just because an IT department never thought about implementing this automation piece? Right. Is it about, about your team that just don't understand what it is that they, it's going to bring? Is it about um, resources, about time? Is it about cost? What, what is stopping you from automating within your business? Yeah. And I think once you understand what that is, then you can address those issues and then you can talk about the benefits. Right. Um, but, but just going back to the, staying on, on the sort of the blockers, do you think that the real blocker is, this is going a bit deep, the real blocker is the whoever is proposing the automation is their lack of communication uh, rather than people not understanding the benefits or maybe you haven't explained the benefits well yeah may maybe maybe that's what it is i mm -hmm. think um you know i think as ap managers we need to make sure that we know exactly what the ben what the benefits are going to be so we can explain those eloquently yeah. to the to the leadership yeah. teams you know to our internal teams mm -hmm. because how you know Automation, you know, from it's a no-brainer for me. But then I work in AP. Yeah. But from from for the people, for the non-finance people, for the non, you know, you need to you need to break it down. And then yeah. and again, it's about delivering your message. And for me, you know, in my world, it's about like being a politician and lobbying people and and having those conversations with people. Because you know, do you know? Do you realise that this could benefit us in so many ways? And so when you have, I don't know, a a, a group discussion around automation as a, as, a, as a business and getting all those stakeholders in, you know, you need to be clear as to, you know, what it is that, you know, what, because people hear different things when they hear automation, or people think yeah. different things when they hear automation. So their interpretation of automation um, to somebody in the, to a, some, a CEO is different to automation to somebody in the AP team because the AT, AP team are thinking, oh, I'm going to lose my job. Yeah. And the CEO is going, I don't understand it, it's just going to cost me money. Mm. You know, what, you know, so what are what's going to be our return on investment, and what what are they, the benefits are, are are there? But we can talk about the benefits later on. But the piece around um, um, what's the words um, engaging with senior management and influencing those people and making those people understand. Yeah. I think you need to have a clear message as to what it is you're trying to achieve, and if you can deliver that message well, then you're halfway there to getting what you want. Mm, and understanding what benefits are going to 
help sway specific la- levels of your organization yeah, yeah. Um, so benefits I mean it's not all doom and gloom no. um, we yeah. want to sort of talk about something positive here when we talk about automation um, so what having you, you've implemented automation before right in, in accounts payable yeah. what did you see were the benefits that, that happened there I think a couple of the benefits around automation are definitely around the, 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 the time savings yep. um, you know so you're working more efficiently. Mm-hmm. So again, if you're working more efficiently, that means that the process is quicker. Yeah. And then yeah, you'll be more productive. And, and I suppose people are happier as well mm-hmm. because those tasks are, are taking a shorter time to do. And then around um, what those people then do with those tasks, you know, that's that, that, that's adding value to your business. Yeah. But then, you know, automation brings protection as well. You know, there's those, there's the whole world of, of, um, of, of fraud. Yeah. And, you know, automation helps with that i wouldn't say eradicates it but it helps with that process reduces the risk yeah it reduces the risk and then and then um for me you know automation for me is around eradicating that 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 input yeah you know i do you know i currently work in the department i hold my hands up i currently work in the department of people input information yeah eradicating that input in and automating that whole step is a must in right. AP for me mm-hmm. is a must. I think we need to get rid of that whole inputting piece. Yeah. These computers can do that. These processors can do right. that. Then once you've got past that, then it's a case of what you do afterwards and how do you add more value to your business by dealing with the, the, with that yeah. with that information once it's in your system. Right. But getting it in, there should be no excuses, people. We should be talking about getting it in quickly, getting it in efficiently, and then and safely, and then what we do with the information once it's in our system. Yeah. So your vision for, for the AP team at BPL is um, no manual input, all automated, um, so people have more time to do these value-added tasks. For example, what, what would you see as a value-added task? Well, there's always things like, okay, so there's always a piece around, um, well, okay, so, you know, statements of reconciliations right. and understanding that we have to make sure that we are checking our statements and we are checking our, our, our suppliers' information to make sure it compares to yours. You know, so that could be one value added task. Right. You know, some people don't do statement registrations. I found out at the AP conference recently. We, you know, we do say, oh my god, you know, I do. I think it's a it's a great key, but that's digressive. Mm-hmm. So for me, again, you know, value adding tasks around things that you you always push to the back of the queue and the things that you need to bring from from under that, out of that drawer or out, out of um, you know out of the dark ages to say, look, I need to look at this because this is a problem and this could actually unlock a few. Uh, pieces of uh, valuable uh, either monetary or again I give you more insight into other areas of the business that you've never thought um, it never really thought it impacted it you. Would. Yeah. yeah so so one thing that I've always used as a as, as a value-added task in this sort of scenario would be to arrange a, a, um, a supplier discounts and things like that how is that a realistic thing you could then you could suggest for automation I, I, I say I say yes yeah anything's Possible, right? But then it's then it's then not something the, to rely on when you're doing the, the project. Yeah, there's other there's other variables in case. Well, is is that in my industry? Is that an in, is discounts right. a, 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 a applicable applicable to me? Right. Um, but yeah, you know, again, it's all about getting the information in and then moving on to what what can we do to enhance, like you say, mm-hmm. our business. And discounts is one of those things that has always been a, 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 you know, a piece where we you can uh, achieve some okay. great great wins. Okay, great. Well, thanks for your insights, Stuart. Um, just really quickly, uh, tell everybody uh, what is up next for you. Well, for me, um, I I love to engage with um, other, the AP industry, yep. and so I'm embarking on a project to make sure that happens. And so, uh, watch this space for 2020. Um, I will be um, out there as it is. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, as an AP person and wanted to, and wanted to talk and engage with other people within the industry and hopefully um, uh, get some great insights and understand what is happening in our world. Great. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you again, Stuart.